up, Grant, and welcome to our new series. It's immediately feeling like I'm going to sneeze. Uh, the Boogeyman. Now, this is the third game in the Man... There's four of them. In the Man series. Uh, we re finished last week the um, Sandman, which had a really nice ending. I was very happy with that. <coughs> so now we're moving on to the next one. I really hope if... These all seem to take place in this same universe, so I'm really hoping um, David and Sophie both show up with the new main character. I don't know who he is, so we're going to get right into it. Ah, I'm excited. These guys are always really good. They're, all, they're always fantastic. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it's a horror game that contains scares, grotesque content, or a frame playing if you can't handle it. Um, if we pause for a sec... If we pause for a second, I do actually have a list of things that... Oh, God. Um, um, is in there, so I'll be one second while I get that up. Right, it's the Strange Men series. Uh, so we've got content warnings. So we've got um, blood and gore, various kinds of death and murder, suicide, mention of self-harm, a few cases of ableist language for, I think, specifically mental illness, uh, animal death and swearing. I think a dog's going to die, which is never good so we're gonna we're gonna get right into it i am looking forward to it despite all the content warnings and i know a couple of subjects are oh i don't want to skip a cutscene. Uh, your phone oh there are voices hello are you asleep huh What? No, no. I was just thinking. thinking. About what, sir? I was just suspecting it. Oh my god, these are voices. That's weird. Still not out yet. It's been three hours, so I'm sure he'll be here soon. Oh man. Answer the phone! Really not gonna answer? I'll call back later. Man, Keith. Do you ever answer your calls? Anderson was groaning about it, you know, wondering what's even the point in calling you. Ah, sir, he's coming out. Uh oh. What? Eric, what's going on? He's got a woman behind him. I think she came in after. You think she's with him? This isn't good. Won't be able to arrest a guy like this. Let's go. I'll squad B and C. We'll get him in that alley up ahead. Hold on a second, sir. She might be a civilian. We should really wait until he's alone. And are you going to take responsibility if he kills her? Come on. Ooh. I'm liking this. It's weird having them voice it because it means I don't have to talk. Ah! Gunshots. Yeah, I'm a really uh, mysterious guy. Police tyranny strikes again. A cold, ruthless detective shoots down yet another criminal. Civilian woman, forever traumatized. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. We tried to ask Keith Baring, the detective responsible, to shed us some more light. But he stood at the station entrance, smoking a cigarette, and told us this. The visitor's entrance is that way. Ooh. Seems that he sees truth seekers like us as unwanted guests. <laughs> well, what do you know? Doesn't say a word about the criminal, nor that the woman was a prostitute, or how we took some injuries of our own in the gunfight. Reporters, am I right? I can read gossip myself. I don't need you reading it out loud. Chief, you're a real hit with these guys. This is a poor fire goal by my count. I'm jealous. Just tell me what you called me in for. It's so weird not having to talk. Like, for the characters. I wonder if it'll be the same for... I'm giving you a vacation. A month, in fact. Oh, a month's vacation! Not a chance. There's no time to rest. There's too much I need to do. You've got a good lackey, right? Leave it to him. And stretch your wings a bit. Dick, what wings? I'm you, there's no way. Don't be a I'm dick, Dick! As your superior. If you don't want to travel, consider it house arrest instead. Ah! Uh, it's on house arrest. Fit to bear the front of the media. I can handle the rest real well. So... Go on, take a break from the crime scene. Okay, then. Hey, but I didn't say you have to twiddle your thumbs at home for a month, right? 
Here's a little present. Thank you. That's really kind. What is it? This old castle they're promoting as a tourist spot. There's a sort of test run tour two weeks from now. Ooh. The truth is, me and the wife were gonna go, but I say you do it. How many years has it been for you two? Helena will be ecstatic. Helena. Helena. Whatever. Now, put down the gun and the notebook. We'll need them on vacation, right? I beg to differ knowing these games. Go home for today. You can hand over your work tomorrow. Justin. What? Enough of the blaring music here in the hallway. Uh, it's not background music then. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. That's a good boss, you know, just giving you a month off. Is that my wife? That's my wife. Welcome home. How was work? How was work, sweetie? She sounds kind of like Monica Real. As usual. You look tired. Are you alright? I'm fine. Oh, yes. I get a fantastic present from Mr. Anderson's wife. Oh, Hello, she's cute. Thanks, honey. Her invitations. A three day stay at an old castle. Won't that be wonderful? Dick already told me. Gave me some time off for a tour. Oh, this is, she's so sweet. To go myself. What do you think? If you're going, then I'm going. I'll tell our travel agent. We have our very own travel agent. I can't wait. I've got some work to take care of. Go to bed without me. Good night. Good night. I wish I was doing the moving. We will love our wife. Oh, I can finally move. Would you look at this? Let's have a look. It doesn't seem as well made as the, um, system. Okay. Cigarette, slighter, own. Cool, very cool. I'm carrying all the luggage. I'll probably just go and talk to the people here. Ugh. Can I talk to anyone? Uh, dummy steering wheel. <laughs> right, okay. But that's the only place we can go. Let's look out here. There we go. Uh, through the large window you can see the sun setting over the sea. The ferry is anchored. I don't know what to do. I haven't... There's, there's nothing for me to do right now. I've just... I've clicked on everyone. Um, I don't, I don't know what they want me to do at the minute. I've, I've done it all. Um, hold on. Ah, here we go. Bearings. I've been waiting for you. I'm Stevie Small, the tour conductor. Hi, I'll Stevie. Be your guide for this tour. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Now that you two are here, all the attendees are present. Please come aboard. We'll be leaving in roughly 30 minutes. And in game time, that's going to be about 10 seconds. Oh, here we go. Wow. <laughs> what a ship. In the five hour trip to the island should go by in no time. Five hours? I'll introduce myself to the others. What about you? I'll head out later. You go ahead. Hmm. It sounds like we never spend time together anymore. And it really doesn't. Traveling bag. Ooh, a mini fridge. What's in here? I bet it's the alcohol he's just taken out. I'm not going to touch them yet. 
the bathroom. Okay. Bottles of brandy. Head out later, as in the yeah. Whoa. Hold on. Don't just swing the door open like that. Be more careful. Oh my gosh, it's Sophie! I knew it! Hello! My redhead child! Oh my gosh, she's here. I Try looking where you're going before you start yelling at people, young lady. Gosh, young lady. Maybe you should look where you're going yourself, old man. Damn. Tongue on you, huh? She got a mouth on her between you games. Bet. I was born with it. Oh gosh. Hey now, Sophie, what are you doing? Hi, Dad. I almost swung the door right into my face, Papa. You said something rude to him, didn't you? Come now, apologize. <laughs> what the hell? How is this my fault? Oh, Sophie's fault. Sophie? I can't believe it. She's here. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. on. Old man. <laughs> Come on, Papa. Let's get some ice cream at the lounge. Oh, I really hope David's here now, too. My apologies for that. Or is it just gonna be like... Is she your daughter? Yes. She's my one and only precious. Full of energy, that's for sure. Oh, yes. She's very excited for the trip today. I'm glad we can Oh, do is she gonna become a thing? Like, I know David was kind of like a whole thing with Lullaby. <laughs> I really hope be Sophie becomes... Because I really liked her. Oh, Excitement this is gonna be... Is one thing. When you try to get her to stop yelling at people over a little near collision. If she talks to the wrong guy, it could be trouble. <laughs> You're very right, but I think it's much better than keeping all her dissatisfaction to herself. Wow. Hint at the previous game. I'm Richard Grundler. That was my daughter, Sophie. Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Richard. Barry. Did you come alone? No, with my wife. My wife, Helena, is somewhere. Oh, wonderful. I hope we both have a great trip. Well, excuse me. All right. Ah, oh, yes! Sophie! I guess we're... Okay, I'm presuming... I'm gonna assume that we can't get into any of these. Mm -hmm. I have a top dog in my head. I g yes, I know what it is. Ah! <sighs> Hi, guys! Hi, guys! Here you are. Oh, c I'm sorry, Sophie, I cut you off. But don't put on too many pounds, all right? Excuse you! I, I can exercise it off. I'm fine. Dad, that was rude. God. I know you! Hello, Shirley. Ah, you've made a friend. This is Shirley. Hi. Nice to meet you. I know, your husband. I'm Shirley Weber. Sing. So that she does sound a bit, sound a bit like a bitch. She came here with her husband. <gasps> oh, did they get married? Yes. Where is he now? He told me he went to take a smoke, so he might be up on the deck. Oh, we're gonna get to see David. Hey, what's with the suit? You're on vacation, you know. Shut up, Shirley. No one likes oh, you. Let me guess. You're with the men in black. Yes. Sorry, but I don't have sunglasses or a neuralizer. <laughs> Too bad. Well, let's enjoy our trip, shall we? Where do I know that voice from? Oh, I feel like I really know that voice. David! Hi! We're just gonna smoke next to each other, it's fine. Need a light? So that's what he sounds like. You got one? Thanks. We're just gonna stand. Oh, look at him! Look nice how today. Don't you agree? Look how gorgeous he is. Hello, David. To tell you the truth, it's my first time traveling on a ship, and it's really exciting for me. I'm just glad it's so nice out. Certainly wouldn't be out smoking on the deck here if it were raining. No kidding. Keith Barron, detective. <laughs> David Hoover, detective? Huh? Very cool. I always like to watch those police dramas, but why the suit? Old habit. Never been on a ship except for the job. Uh, Did you come alone? No, I came with my wife. They got married! I was going to invite some friends along, another couple, but the husband ended up in the hospital. What? He's a... What's his name? I know who he means. I can't remember his name, though. Why is he in hospital? He ruined his stomach from eating too many chili dogs. Always been kind of a moron. Oh, okay, that makes so sense. So invited another girl and her father. 
They were always saying they didn't get to go on vacation. <laughs> I was working with surfing. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. I can't deal with this game. Right, they were both really pleased. <clears throat> I'm glad I invited them. Too bad about my friends. I mean, yeah, true. I'd have liked to see those two. Pull yourself into a place now. <laughs> yep, that's, that's the plan. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I hope... Are we done? Oh, we're done. Hey. Oh, another smoke? Want my life? No. Um. No, I was just going to see if there was any more dialogue. <gasps> Guess who my friend is, Sophie? The tea here is delicious. You like tea? Absolutely. What about you? Sorry, I can't stand the stuff. I know that voice. God, this is annoying now. Oh. Keith Barron. Who could have guessed I'd be graced by the presence of the tabloid star? And who the heck are you? I'm Lance Canal. Lance, so what hi. You here? Murder on the ship? Or are you gonna cause one yourself, detective? And who the heck I uh, who who are you? Must have a lot of time on your hands to read all those tabloids. Don't say that. These tabloids who rag on you come from the same publisher I work for. Ah, uh, so he's a, um... I'm here to take pictures. Heard there was a new tourist trap opening. They invited me here for publicity. Yeah, he's a kind of a journalist then. Photographer. Photographer, that's don't it. Don't you worry. I don't take pictures. Don't you worry. I'm worrying now. I'm just a photographer for a humble travel magazine. Sure. Not like I'm one of those paparazzi guys. Still, don't have to take pictures to get material. I can make some good money passing things on to my gossip writing colleagues. I don't trust this guy at yeah. all. Good luck with that. I'll be watching, detective. Gosh, back off. I can't. Okay, that's it. We're done. Gosh. Ah. It really is. I can't wait to take a look inside. Man, it's like the kind of place would be a murder case on an old cop show. Man, it kind of looks like the hotel where I met um Sissy that one time. Oh, stop being such an oddball. Where do Oh, that's really going to annoy me. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're telling us we have to camp out in front for this tour. What? <coughs> That's odd. I'm sure I told him when we'd arrive. Hold on a moment. Stay here. Hello? It's Stevie from NA Travel. Stevie! Hello? Brendan, are you there? Obviously not. Okay, they're here. Is everybody ready? Rigel, your tie's crooked. Fix it. Mitch, your hair's a mess. Wow, you nailed this one. Yeah, your glasses are... Well, they're still lame. <laughs> right. Time to greet the guests. Are we meant to be able to hear that? Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting for you. I'm Brendan Dumont, the proprietor of this castle. Stevie, I thought you'd never come. Thanks for leaving them here. And thank you for showing up, Brendan. I was worried you weren't here. Oh, I should introduce... There's no need, Stevie. I'm already well aware of our guests. Mr. Lance, <laughs> the Grumblers, Mr. David, and Mrs. Shirley. And last but not least... The bearings. They came in Sandy Anderson. <laughs> what a delight. Oh, yeah. I forgot they were. Guy. You take care of this place all by yourself? Yes, that's right. You must be tired from that long boat ride. I'll lead you to your rooms inside. It'll be a while until dinner. So make yourself at home. Cool, cool. Sound good so far. We get dinner. Keith, look. The view is so wonderful from here. It's like we're back in Europe. You remember? When we went to France and you... Oh, phone's going. Shouldn't you answer that? It's Eric, no doubt. I'll call him back later. <laughs> I never call back! I wonder what the others are up to. I'll go take a look. Go, go see, go see. Oh, I thought I was playing his head then. I was like, the minute I pressed the um, arrow key, she started walking. Are you coming, honey? Not right now. Later. Gosh, how is she still our wife? She's so lovely and sweet and we're a bit of a dick. 
closet. <laughs> I better come out of it. <clears throat> Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Whiskey. Very nice. Clock. So what's down here? And the bathroom. Okay, so... Now we leave. <laughs> the grandma's, so the Sophie's. Nope. <laughs> We're not done exploring this bit yet. That was my room. I thought you said they got married. Lance. Yeah. Storeroom. Ooh, dining room. Very fancy. Kitchen. Oh, it's got its own brewery. Oh my gosh, that's so fancy. Right, okay. So we're going to look around the library for a bit. Oh, what's up here? What? What? Hold on. Hold on. No, we're not saving. Uh, I'm gonna go back. Because, you know. Uh, I didn't have to press, so. Yeah, we're gonna. No, oh, here we go. Right, okay. So we're here. And I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea. I feel like I missed something and I don't really want to... Um, I want to get to know all the people who I'm with. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Knowing that both David and Sophie are in it now and they came as friends, it's just great. It really, like, it makes me really happy. So, um, yeah, we're going to leave it there. I'll see you next, no, I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode of Twisted Lands Insomniac, which hopefully we'll be finishing soon. So yeah, bye-bye.